Vale, vamos a ponernos la indumentaria de siempre. Ya hemos comprado... A ver, la... los muebles de la habitación de la madre. Oh, the room looks nice now. It's comforting to see the way it was meant to be. Ah, pues tenemos que recordar algo. Aquí. My mother always preferred to spend her rare moments of lucidity with me. That's true. She even stopped Mycroft from joining you. Remember? I do. He didn't show it, but he was upset. I think mother paid more attention to me because I was younger. Un momento de reflexión. En sus raros momentos de lucidez, la madre de Sherlock siempre quería pasar tiempo con él. Un día nos vio preparándonos para la función y nos ayudó a aplicarnos el maquillaje frente al espejo. Mycroft quería unírsenos, pero ella se negó. Él no lo dejó ver, pero sé que le molestó. Bayore siempre le prestó más atención a Sherry porque era más pequeño. Y ya está. Por ahora ya está. Tendremos que seguir comprando... A ver si hay... No, tenemos que seguir comprando muebles. Pero no parece que haya muebles nuevos. Ya irán apareciendo. Vale, ¿qué nos queda entonces? Este punto de aquí no sé lo que es. Ah, que... Que está Sherlock dentro, no lo sé, no estoy seguro. Pero bueno, parece que tenemos que ir al Cordona Chronicle para alguna cosa. Y aparte de eso tenemos... La petición de Mycroft, que, que está abajo el marinero. Y tenemos... No, el marinero es el de la invitación. Y la petición de, de Mycroft es el que está afuera. Que es un agente de Mycroft. Esas esos dos son las cosas que nos quedan. Y parece... Que la invitación es, pertenece a la historia principal. Así que vamos... Por el caso de, de Mycroft. Vale, es un chantaje. Están chanta chantajeando a Mark Ridley, el hijo del general Arthur Ridley. Va a reunirse con el chantajista en la torre de Old City Bridge. Tengo que observar desde una distancia segura, averiguar la identidad del chantajista e informar al señor Estebo, que es el que está afuera. Que estará esperando en mi casa. Vale, hay que ir a el patio de la cafetería Primrose en el margen oeste de Old City Bridge en Escaladio. Bueno, Old City Bridge será el uno de estos dos. Aquí está. Pues la cafetería tiene que estar cerca de aquí. Bueno, primero vamos a ir a, a ese sitio y ya buscaremos la cafetería. Ahí está, la hemos encontrado.
Here, grab a seat. You even brought a book, huh? Uh, may I have... Same as always. You just don't give up, do you? Oh, come on, let's get closer. We can't see anything from here. No, too early. So we're just going to sit here all day? Patience, John. I have a feeling this is more than simple blackmail. We'll be close when the blackmailer leaves, and then... Go! Mientras esperaba en la cafetería, alguien ha caído de la torre y no hay alguien ahí arriba. No sé si eso que está ahí a la derecha es una persona o no. O es un poste. Bueno, vamos a ver al, el cadáver. Perfil de la víctima. Mark Ridley se cayó de la torre y Mark era el que estaban chantajeando. Bueno, se cayó. Ya veremos si se cayó. Tiene una llave. Aquí en el dibujo tiene una llave. Aquí está. A key, and where there's a key, there's a lock. He was stabbed several times before he fell. The shape of the wounds suggest a curved blade. Oh my goodness. Who, who is it? The knife is missing. Pero la hoja no es curva. Head trauma. Fatal. Gravity is cruel like that. A rather frivolous accessory for a military man. Shame it's all bloody now. What's happened? What? Oh, who is it? It's almost like he's dancing. He's dancing the dance macabre. No signs of life, no pulse. I'm declaring Corporal Ridley dead. Vale, a ver qué tenemos. Primero, saber de dónde es la llave. Tiene el número 4. Luego tenemos el pañuelo. Es de diseño otomano y tiene un intrincado motivo de un águila. Please move along. The police are on their way. Everything's uh, under control. Is it now? The general's own son has fallen out of the tower, and not without help, it seems. I need to inspect the scene and quickly. The corporal. He ordered me not to let anyone inside without telling him. But now, wait. Are you saying it's a murder? Vamos a enseñarle la llave a ver si sabe de dónde es. I see no connection. No. Y el pañuelo. I see no connection. Tampoco. A brief examination of the body was enough for me to conclude that he was murdered by a blade of Ottoman origin. He can't possibly be so certain. Oh, I can be. The corporal suffered deep stab wounds which were inflicted with great force. They were made by a knife meant for cutting, not stabbing. A curved blade such as an Ottoman jambir or a Gurkha kukri. I haven't seen any Gurkhas on the island, so the conclusion is quite obvious. Amazing. You do seem more than competent. All right, go in. I'll wait here for the police. Did you see anything suspicious? No, sir, nothing. Corporal Ridley had to attend to some private matters upstairs. No one went in, no one came out. Oh, but that means the killer is still inside. Are you sure you want to go in alone? I'm not alone. I have my friend with me. Your friend? You mean, your gun? There's no one at... Never mind, I'll be fine. Bueno, 
Pues nada, vamos a subir. This cigarette is still smoldering. Alguien había escondido dentro del baúl. Le estaba esperando. Smell the body odor, John. Someone's been hiding in here. Sí. Someone sweaty. Unless it's a laundry chest. But then it's a different mystery altogether. The case of the vanishing sweaty pantaloons. Ahí está la daga con la que lo mataron. This blade is a naval officer's dirk. No, es su daga, esta es su daga. La que le faltaba, sí. The edge is covered with blood, but the tip is clean. Vale, a ver qué más me falta. Se ha ido por la cuerda, ya verás que se ha, eh, ha salido, el asesino se ha ido por la cuerda. A ver si tiene alguna pista ahí. De, ay, la cuerda donde llega. No creo que pueda llegar hasta ahí. Ah, pues sí, se puede llegar. Hay sangre. O sea que el asesino está herido. Y no puedo examinar esto porque seguro que me falta... Me he saltado algún paso. Seguro que me falta examinar algo arriba para que luego me deje examinar algo en la sangre debajo. Me he saltado un paso, pero bueno. Pero ¿cuál? This cigarette is still smoldering. Ahí, en el suelo.
carta de chantaje. Celo de tu último escarceo. Reúnete conmigo en la torre de Old City Bridge. Ven solo y trae 100 man mangirs. Si no quieres que el asunto llegue a oídos ajenos. Exactly 100 mangirs. Killer didn't touch them. Vale, eso significa que el chantaje solo era una excusa para matarlo. A ver, reconstrucción de la escena. El asesino estaba escondido dentro dentro del baúl con una espada curva o con un con una espada, cuchillo curvo. Este tiene mejor pinta. Porque la mesa, a ver. Solo está este y este. Yo creo que es este porque teníamos una mancha de barro en esa esquina. Así que tuvo que salir por este lado. No hay otra. Vale, ¿qué más tenemos? Puede ser este. Y este me da a mí que es. Vamos a probar. Correcto. Escondido dentro de un baúl vacío, el asaltante pilló a Mark Riley con la guardia baja. Lucharon. Aunque estaba herido, el atacante mató al cabo. Lo empujó por la ventana y huyó. Dejó intacto el dinero del chantaje. El asesino aún debe de seguir sangrando. Y ahora es cuando tendremos que bajar. A no ser que haya algo aquí nuevo. No parece que haya nada. Ahora es cuando hay que bajar. Y seguir la cuerda. ¿Qué pasó? ¿No había nadie en la No, el asesino se escapó. Estamos lidiando con una planeación de asesinación de ¿Qué puedes decirme sobre el deceso? We were from the same unit, stationed together at the barracks by the bridge, but I can't say I knew him well. Maybe someone at the barracks could tell you more. Do you know if the corporal had any enemies? Someone who would want him dead? No, uh, none that I know of. But then again, there's always the Ottomans. They'd want all of us soldiers dead, I reckon. El cabo de Riley estaba estacionado, estacionado, en la casa requisada cercana al Old City Bridge. Allí pudo preguntar por él. Vale, pero primero... Ahora sí. Se fue por aquí. Aquí hay otra mancha de sangre. Amazing, right? 
Disturbing is more like it. Poste de los cuchillos, o sea, uno de esos cuchillos es con el que mataron al cabo. Este. Es curvo, tiene sangre. A curved knife, covered in fresh blood. There we go. Hmm. I doubt that this eagle is purely ornamental. Careful, Sherry. I hope you aren't too happy with what we're doing. I'd better what leave the knife here. Uh, leave now it. is a bad time to ruffle my feathers. Vale, pues no tenemos que ir. Menos mal que puedo sacar una fotografía, pues sí. Tenemos el cuchillo. Puedo preguntar por el emblema del águila y también debería preguntar en la casa requisada cerca de Old City Bridge. Puedo preguntar por el cabo. Y supongo que la llave esta será... El, la habitación 4 de esa casa. Go away. What? Están cabreados, así que a estos no les voy a preguntar nada. Go away from it. Vale, si me disfrazo, aquí no puedo cambiarme. Y aquí. Si me disfrazo de otomano que no me acuerdo cuál era este con un fez no le puedo preguntar nada a este no puedo y a los que están aquí Ahora voy disfrazado, ya no sabéis quién soy. No les puedo preguntar nada tampoco. El cuartel tiene que estar aquí. Civiles, pues me voy a tener que disfrazar de... de marinero. Que sería... ¿Cuál era? Ya no me acuerdo. Este. Más. Este gorro tan absurdo. El parche no sé si sirve. Sí, un poquito. Y la barba. Vale, ahora ya estoy bastante... <ríe> qué, ¡Qué absurdo! <ríe> Disfraz de marino. You aren't here to relieve me from duty, are you? Oh well. Deja entrar. Sí. Tres, 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 pero vale. Cuatro, vas aquí. Este va a ser la llave. La nice. Vale, ya está. La llave está usada. de Highland. Llevo soñando con el tiempo que pasamos juntos desde nuestro último encuentro, pero mis sueños se están tornando en pesadillas. Pues temo que alguien averigüe lo nuestro. Sé lo que te dije, pero me equivoqué. Sí que quiero la vida que me prometiste. Estoy preparada para huir contigo. Estaré esperándote en mi casa al amanecer. Usa la entrada que no está marcada con un águila. Vale, ya estamos viendo 
¿De qué va esto? Los sirvientes esperarán a una mujer otomana que lleve el pañuelo que te di. Vale. ¿Lo habrá matado algún pariente de esta mujer que no quería que se fuera, que se escapara con él? Un hermano, por ejemplo. That's quite a hefty sum. Enough to start a new life. Two tickets to London. Would have been a very different ending for the corporal's story. Carta del general. Hijo, como sabes, nuestra posición en Cordona es tan precaria como la de un hombre ahorcajada sobre un caballo de tres patas. Dos de esas patas son nuestra soldadesca y nuestra armada. La tercera, nos guste o no, es la Casa del Águila. Si perdemos cualquiera de las tres, todo se vendrá abajo. Así pues, ¿podrías por favor subirte los malditos pantalones y empezar a comportarte como un Ridley? Ya he tolerado su, tus escarceos demasiado tiempo y ahora me dicen que andas rondando por la Old City. Debes ponerte fin a esto de inmediato. Los otomanos viven según sus propias reglas. Mientras las respetemos, nuestra frágil paz se mantendrá. Being the son of a general must be difficult. Rise all the way to the top. Make me proud, son. Vale, otro análisis químico. Y la carta de Highland hay que entrar disfrazado. De mujer. Esperan a una mujer otomana que lleve el pañuelo que te di. Vale. Primero vamos a ver si se me da bien el análisis químico. A ver, menos cuatro. Vamos a probar este. Vamos a invertir este. Voy a invertir este. Vale, ahora, si a este que está aquí... Esto ya me daría menos 2 y menos 4. Me quedaría tener un menos 1 aquí. Este me queda un menos 1. Vale, de aquí... Si le sumo 1... Y lo invierto... Si, si creo la solución química adecuada podré eliminar las manchas sin dañar el tejido ahora que he limpiado la sangre del pañuelo puedo usarlo para disfrazarme bien o sea que el siguiente paso será este o bueno, primero saber a qué casa tengo que ir y supongo que tendré que preguntar a la gente ¿Dónde está la casa con este emblema? Y para eso... Tengo que salir primero de aquí. Y ahora sí hay que disfrazarse de otomano. Y el parche no creo. Bueno, con el pañuelo.
Parece un ladrón. <risa> a ver, un... Un otomano, alguien de por aquí, que me diga dónde está esa casa. Este mismo. Could you help me? As much as I'd like to help you. I no. know nothing about this. A ver, la vieja esta. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'd rather not talk to your kind. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. Vale, antes, claro. Es que ya no es. O quizás debería disfrazarme de, de ladrón. ¿Cuál era el disfraz de ladrón? Este, el de mafioso. Con el sombrero este. Y el bigote da igual. Vale, vamos a probar ahora. May I ask for your assistance? No. Sorry. Vale. I know nothing. No lo sabe. Vale, volvemos al disfraz de otomano. Is this familiar to you? Brother, your sí, este sí lo sabe. Vale. A ver. Los otomanos dicen que es el emblema de la casa de Hassan, la familia más importante de Old City. Su residencia se alza en la zona oeste del mercado de la Old City. Tenemos el mercado está... El mercado está aquí. Vale, pues entonces tiene que estar su casa más o menos por aquí. Ahí está. Esta es la casa de Águila. Y ahora, la única manera de entrar... Usa la entrada que no está marcada con un águila. Vamos a ver cuántas entradas tiene esto. Esta, por ejemplo, no veo ningún águila. Ning... Ah, sí, ahí está. Esta entrada no. ¿Cuántas entradas tendrá este sitio? ser aquí vale pero no me van a dejar entrar porque sí ya verás no es bienvenido ¿por qué? porque necesito disfrazarme de mujer y no tengo disfraz de mujer así que me da a mí ya que el mercado está aquí y aquí hay un vendedor de ropa. Another knife in the pillar. Este no es un vendedor de ropa. Este es el vendedor. Let's pick something that suits you. A ver, ¿qué ropa? Esta no. Tampoco.
solo hay dos disfraces de mujer. Atuendo de madre. No hay más. <ríe> qué, qué, qué ridículo con el sombrero y la barba. <ríe> Parece la mujer barbuda del circo. Este creo que lo tengo que comprar. Este. Este es el que hay que comprar. A good choice. A good choice indeed. A ver. Sin la barba. Pero con el pañuelo. ¿Dónde está el pañuelo? Este el pañuelo. Creo que este es el disfraz que necesito. You are expected. Quickly, coming. My love, oh, I'm so. Who are you? Where's Mark? Answer me or I'll call for help. You will do no such thing, Jalen. We both know it. How do you know my name? And why are you wearing this scarf? What has happened? A flood of questions, but I only have one answer. Mark Ridley is dead. No. This cannot be. You're, you're lying. Tell me you're lying. Keep your voice down, miss. I don't have time for a lady's hysterics. Mark has been murdered, and I believe that the murderer is part of this house. No. It was a secret. We were meeting. We were... How could anyone find out? The truth always comes out one way or another, but enough of this. Tell me, have you seen anything suspicious here? No, I... I heard the servants talking about blood near the main entrance, but I didn't think... This is too much for me. I can't. Qué delicado Sherlock. I wasn't me. Al contarle que, que su novia ha muerto. Is that you or your reptilian brain talking? Vale, a ver qué sería lo siguiente ahora. Esto de aquí. No sé si me he saltado algo. Pero no sé lo que tengo que preguntar. Creo que tengo que preguntar, esto había que preguntar dónde está la casa cercana al puente, pero la encontré por casualidad. Rastro de sangre. Hay sangre junto a la puerta principal. Esta no es la principal, que tiene que ser esta. Ahí está. A bloody trail. Let's see where it leads. Ahí hay más sangre. Aquí, ¿no? Pues no. Pile of fresh clothes. <laughs> How convenient. All soaked in blood. Well, a fresh shirt is as good a lead as any. So, think you can identify the killer on the first try? <laughs> Do you doubt me? Sin margen de error. Identificar al asesino al primer intento. Por ahora lo único que sabemos es que está herido. Y se ha cambiado de ropa. Q. 
Do you think they'd mind if I washed my shirt? I haven't changed in days and I'm starting to smell. Ropa sucia. Este no es. Herido. Va a ser este. Y ya está, no hay más. A no ser que haya alguien que me haya saltado. Tiene que ser este. Demudado. Culpabil culpabilidad o nervio. Pues las dos cosas. Urticaria. Vendaje que rezuma. Le falta el cuchillo curvo, eso está claro. Cuchillo extraviado. Y además tiene sangre. Bueno, aquí no se ve. Manos temblorosas, cortes y arañazos. Pues... El culpable está en la casa del águila a jugar por la ornamentada vaina de su cuchillo. Es el primogénito de la familia. Dado que lleva un vendaje ensangrentado bajo la camisa y le falta el cuchillo de la vaina, es evidentemente el asesino. Parece que el corazón le date con cerebridad y aún está, hecho por la, eh, está herido por la pelea. Intenta que no se note, pero su cuerpo lo traiciona. Y lo otro es, parece que for, por fin está dándose cuenta de las consecuencias de sus acciones. Todo en él indica que eh, le reconcome los remordimientos por lo que hizo. Pues no sé lo que puede ser. Puede ser las dos cosas. Voy a poner remordimientos. Bueno, es que no lo sé. Voy a poner remordimientos, pero a lo mejor me equivoco. ¿Qué estás staring at, you crazy woman? So, here you are. The wounded eagle in its eerie. What the hell? An Englishman here? Why are you wearing a dress? I hate to interrupt you while you're struggling with your conscience. Perhaps you ought to have made peace with it before doing the deed. My conscience is perfectly clear, Brit. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Indeed I do. You are the obedient son of this house. Obedient and wounded. But let me explain. I am Osai, son of Hassan. You are on my father's property, and you better stop all this jabbering nonsense. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have every reason to believe that you were involved in the murder of Mark Ridley. Are you accusing me? Sí. ¿Con qué medio se cometió el crimen? ¿Con el cuchillo? That's right, I am. I recovered the murder weapon. It bears an eagle crest, the same crest that is so proudly displayed within your house. And a proud house we are. My father speaks for all Ottomans on this island, remember that. Regrettably, I fail to detect much pride in the callow way you ambushed the corporal. ¿Qué más? La sangre. Carta, carta. La carta no sé si prueba algo. Yo creo que la sangre. Rastro de sangre. What are you saying? No, eso no. What's all this pickled cabbage? I'm saying, please pardon the metaphor, he was a fishbone that became lodged in your throat. You had a strong motive to see him dead. Ese no. 
Ah, ¿cuál fue el móvil? Ah, no lo estaba leyendo. ¿Cuál fue el móvil? La carta, ¿dónde está la carta? Let me think about it. Vale, ahora me deja empezar. Bueno. That's right, I am. I recovered the murder weapon. It bears an eagle crest, the same crest that is so proudly displayed within your house. And a proud house we are. My father speaks for all Ottomans on this island, remember that. Regrettably, I failed to detect much pride in the callow way you ambushed the corporal. Ahora, ¿cuál fue eh, la ventana de oportunidad? La reunión, ¿no? No, pero esto ya lo probé o no. ¿Qué probé yo? Ah, probé el rastro de sangre. Creo que aquí va la reunión. It couldn't have been very comfortable for you inside that chest, waiting to catch the corporal off guard. Couldn't you find a better place to hide? You're a fine one to talk of tactics. You're dressed as a woman. If you'll pardon the metaphor, he was a fishbone that became lodged in your throat. You had a strong motive to see him dead. ¿Y cuál fue el móvil? La carta. La carta de eh, Highland. At the heart of this crime is a woman, Jalen. Oh, Jalen. She might be to you, your wife, mm, unlikely, your sister. Enough. Don't you dare say a word about my sister. It was he who led her to sin. That son of a dog, Mark Ridley. He spat on our traditions and brought shame to our family. His father promised us peace, but I knew how it would be. You feed the crow, it tears your eyes out. So you risk the peace to right your honor. I had no other choice. Not that you'd understand, Brit. I believe peace between our people to be more important than this terrible incident. You want peace? Well then stay away from my family and never speak of this to anyone. I won't say a word to the police. It will only complicate matters. There is no need for further bloodshed. You're not so stupid after all. Now get out. Ay, eso. No entiendo por qué la, la elección de mantengamos la calma significa no le voy a acusar de nada. El juego no te explica que esa opción va no no le va a acusar. Pero bueno, es lo que hay. Pero todavía faltan cosas, ¿no? He de decidido dejar libre al asesino. Yo no he decidido nada. El juego no me dice que esa elección lo dejaría libre. Vale, pero ¿qué me falta? Ahora tengo que informar al señor Estebo en mi casa. Bueno, puede que él haga algo. Creo que lo que faltaría para completar este que está aquí, que me lo he saltado. Preguntar a alguien por quizá un marinero. Vale, a ver si encuentro algún marinero. Policía, ¿no? Falsificador. Buzo. No creo que sirva. Excuse me, just one question. It doesn't look like I can help you. No. Esa es que estaba escondida ahí detrás. ¿Qué estaría haciendo ahí detrás? Marinero árabe, a ver. Excuse me, just one question. The seagulls know more than I do. No, pero este marino no me sirve. Uh -huh. 
Vale, a ver por aquí. Preguntarle a este no tiene sentido, ¿no? You aren't here to relieve me from duty, are you? Este tampoco tendrá sentido. I hope the police find the murderer. A ver este, a ver si este me sirve. Do you know anything about this? Yeah, it sounds unfamiliar to me. I'm sorry. Pues si este no lo sabe, me da a mí que no. Que no lo voy a descubrir. A ver el borracho este. Ah, no puedo. Y un policía no creo que sepa nada, ¿no? Excuse me, just one question. I wish I could help you, sailor. Help me, please. Yeah, it sounds unfamiliar to me. I'm sorry. Te aparece porque sí. Claro que me choco con ellos si aparecen de la, de la nada.
Así que... Hala, voy a volver a casa. Y caso resuelto. Mr. Holmes, I trust your mission was successful. Successful is hardly the word I would use. Mark Ridley is dead. But what? How? Explain. Blackmail was a ruse to kill Ridley, but I managed to track down the culprit. He comes from a very influential Ottoman family. All things considered, I chose not to turn him into the police. I see. Your prudence is commendable, Mr. Holmes. What will happen now? I cannot tell. I am just a piece on the board, same as you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to report to your brother immediately. Honestly, can't believe you let the killer go. I thought it was a joke till the very end. Poste de los cuchillos. ¿Tengo que volver a recoger el cuchillo? No sé. Vale, el siguiente caso sería la musa Allende los Mares. Tenía que ir en una galería de arte en la Old City, en Bazaar Road y Hermes Avenue. Vamos a ver. Aquí está Bazaar Road, que es toda esta calle. Y Hermes Avenue es esta, así que tengo que ir ahí. Es aquí donde tengo que ir. Sí, es ahí. Vale, lo más cercano es... Viaje rápido aquí. Mr. Holmes, you came. Oh, how kind. Though now, of course, I realize it is because of my game, not the works on display. It needn't be one or the other. But yes, your little riddle attracted my attention, Mr. Vogel. I'm glad to hear it, even if only as a minor distraction before the real game begins. So, this little game of yours, what's it about? An enigma to solve. A locked area in the basement with no windows found brutally vandalized. I have no clue how it was possible. What about this intrusion? What happened? Last night, I was about to leave the gallery when I heard a noise downstairs. I went to the basement, but I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. It was admittedly a rudimentary inspection. It is not uncommon to get rats down there, so seeing nothing of note, I left and locked up the building. When I returned this morning, alas, I discovered that part of the exhibition had been torched, and there was no sign of the intruder. The mystery being, of course, that all the doors to the gallery were locked exactly as I left them. And the door to the basement is the only entrance? Correct. Tell me you're not intrigued. And this locked area downstairs, what exactly was it? The under gallery. It's always shut, and I'm the only one with the key. Ah, so this is your private collection, not part of the gallery. Oh, no. It's an exclusive exhibition of eccentric pieces. Only a select cadre of artists, investors and collectors are admitted. Not everyone deserves to have their eyes opened. Well, this matter is certainly within my wheelhouse. This intrusion troubles me. Please take a look around if you're willing. The under gallery is through the door at the end. I will see what I see. Anoche Vogel oyó un ruido en la galería baja. Bajó, pero no pudo comprobarlo bien. La galería está...
Are you sure you don't like art, Sherry? Back home, we've got a taxidermist. He's gonna have a heart attack when he sees what I bring him. <laughs> Sherry, how about some company in that dreary chamber of yours? Leave my loneliness unbroken, John. A handprint of the thing from another world. But it looks fresh, and its coal origin ruins the effect of the extra mundane. Vale, ya estamos otra vez con lo mismo de, del vampiro. Esta vez se ha levantado un esqueleto. Vale, en la sala localizamos un ataúd con un esqueleto que había movido un poco. En la tapa alguien había dejado una huella de carbón. Sodden and mold ridden. One presumes deliberately. The parasites of creativity. Or just a reflection of the artist's recreational interests. Saturn devouring his son. Of grim composition. Unflinching in its ferocity, yet somehow beautiful. Closed with a metal bolt. Vale, aquí está el carbón. Y huellas de carbón también. Bajaron por ahí. Size nine and a half. parte de dentro de la puerta encontramos arañazos recientes con limadura de imán. Dentro de la trampilla alguien había dejado varias huellas de pisada. O sea que con un imán es con lo que abrieron, claro. Esto estaba cerrado y con un imán abrieron el pestillo. Y así es como entraron. Y aquí tenemos las huellas. A true artist never shows an unfinished piece. The left step's length is shorter than the right. It indicates that the walker was lame. Old and hasn't been used for a long time. Alguien dejó huellas de pisada de carbón en la sala. vandalism. Only an ignorant person could do such a thing. A malpal butt. Cold fingerprints. I think we're looking for a man with a cold moustache. Vale, a recrear la escena otra vez. A ver. ¿Él? No lo creo. 
Vale, alguien bajó por ahí y abrió la puerta con el imán. <ríe> no creo que nadie, eh, que el esqueleto abriera la puerta, así que... Y no creo que sea él. Se metió dentro, podría ser. Vale, sabemos que él bajó. Así que yo creo que aquí sí que va el... Vogel. Bajó, pero no sé si hizo algo más. Puede que esto sí lo hiciera él. O quizá también quemara algo. Vale, vamos a probar este. You're not even trying, no. Sherry. Concentrate. No, este no. Yo creo que este está bien. Alguien cojeando que tiene bigote. No tiene pinta de que sea el, el artista. A ver, ¿qué nos dice? Bajó, pero no puedo comprobarlo bien. A lo mejor... Ay, a lo mejor simplemente se quedó ahí y no siguió. Vamos a probar esta. Esa era. El intruder entered the basement through the coal chute. He used a magnet to open the hatch bolt. He accidentally pushed a shovel to the floor. Vogel heard the noise. At the sound of his approaching footsteps, the intruder hid inside the coffin. When Vogel entered the basement, he failed to notice anything strange and left without properly checking. The intruder waited until Vogel had left the caravanserai before burning the paintings in Wilde's room, but the vandalism was a cover for the theft. Vale, sabemos que tiene cojera que fuma y tiene algo que ver con ese cuadro vale, ahora habría que hablar con Vogel ¿dónde estás? The pieces are not what I expected What do you think my collection is about? Eh, yo qué sé. Puede ser cualquier cosa. Dozens of priceless works amassed simply for the sake of it and presented without care. It's not about the art, it's about excess, yes? I don't know. But that's absurd. Of course you know, it's your gallery. There is no one answer, no singular truth, but many filtered through the subjective mind. That forgetting, embellishing, lying machine. Besides, what's wrong with a lie if it makes life more interesting? What's wrong with a lie? It corrupts the ability of others to behave freely and rationally. Men never act freely and rationally anyway. It matters not what is or isn't in the end. The only important thing is how you feel. And I simply want to feel and consume as much as I can. Don't you? Feelings are simply one's animal ancestry trying to wrest back control of the brain. I try to avoid the distraction. You try not to feel, even in a place like this? None of it moves you? To be frank, I struggle to maintain even a wit of interest in art. 
But, Mr. Holmes, it is joy incarnate, mankind's greatest achievement. Mankind's highest achievement above all others is objective and rational thought. I see, then, why you dislike art, for it means whatever you want it to. Or, perhaps, Mr. Vogel, I was lying. Aha. Uh -huh. El caso era trivial o interesante. Idea, que mata. Mr. Vogel, I have confirmed that the intruder was an average-sized, flexible, malpal smoker with a limp. As it happens, the vandalism was a cover. The true intent was to steal a painting without your knowledge. The fact is, one of the pieces from the Wild Room is not in the wreckage. What? That is extraordinary. This thief was familiar with the gallery and... He was sporting a limp. Do any of your clients or artists come to mind? My! Your attention to detail is remarkable, Mr. Holmes. I should introduce you to Bosch's works. Alas, I'm afraid I cannot suggest a culprit. The intruder entered the basement through the coal chute. He used a magnet to open the latch and dislodged the shovel while doing so. That's the noise you heard yesterday. When you went downstairs to investigate, he hid in the coffin. Hmm. It seems I should have checked the space more thoroughly. The fire was a clever attempt to hide a stolen painting, even if it didn't fool me. I found the remnants of an empty frame in the pile of ashes. The canvas had been removed. Do you know which paintings in the Wild Room may have interested a thief? Were any particularly expensive? Those pieces belong to a well-known artist named Boniface Mercurio. They're controversial, but not of a notably high value. There's something more, is there not? I can see it in your eyes. Hmm, indeed. There is another intriguing angle. I recently received an anonymous offer for one of Mercurio's works. The sum was more than fair, and indeed could have saved Mercurio from his artistic poverty. But he declined it. Was it a performative whim? Some artists lionize pain and hardship as if their work would be worse after a meal and a hot bath. I cannot tell. But not only did he refuse the deal, he insisted on displaying the painting in the public space. I was hoping to change his mind, but artists are a special breed of stubborn. A ver de qué va el cuadro. A lo mejor tiene que ver con el contenido del cuadro, por eso lo robaron. What was depicted in the piece? Hmm, a bound woman wrapped in robes, being penetrated by a red devil that stared at us, the viewer. The beast had numerous tails growing from his back, and a large crowd gathered around the pair, silently watching the orgiastic scene. Okay, well, given the nature of the other works on display, it's hard to see why that one stood out. What could possibly be its value? The evaluation of art is very subjective, Mr. Holmes. After all, art is everything. A poem, a bruise, the beads of sweat on your beloved skin. Even a masterfully solved crime. I'm not sure I see the connection. Regardless, the painting was one of a series called The Sabbath Night in Cordona. The works depict sex, violence, and other controversial acts that life, for better or worse, contains. Ah, I see. I'm not sure that you do, but that can wait for another time. Vamos a hablar con el pintor. So where can I find Boniface Mercurio? I know he lives somewhere in Old City, but couldn't be more specific. He's a prominent figure, so finding him shouldn't be a problem. Well, I believe I have enough to begin. Thank you, Mr. Vogel. Your gallery certainly has unexpected depths. I'm delighted to have been able to please a friend. In return, I expect you to come back with good news. Or at least with a good story. Ah, pues mira. Creía que tendríamos que preguntar, pero no. Tenemos que ir a los archivos, pero ¿de dónde? Del ayuntamiento, según. Supongo que será del ayuntamiento. A ver. Y ahora saber cómo se sale de aquí, porque yo me he perdido. Por aquí. A ver, el ayuntamiento. Ah, 
A ver, eh... Ciudadanos, el periódico no importa. Profesión y distrito All City. No. A ver, el distrito sí. Negocios, tampoco. Y otro, tampoco. Es que tiene que ser ciudadano. periódico y ya que estoy aquí voy a ver por qué se supone que tengo que entrar en el periódico porque está marcado Mr. Holmes, I have something for you. Por esto era. Mr. Holmes, I see what you're up to. Mysterious stranger pursues betrothed woman. But please, let us keep things professional. I have in my possession an envelope containing details of a special assignment for you. Tell me, are you interested? Pues sí. I believe I am, but to be very clear, Miss Sertle, my interest extends to the message and not to the messenger. Hmm. So he claims he's not a gal sneaker, seducing women everywhere he goes. Perhaps the truth is even more scandalous? Please spare me the speculation return to the matter at hand. A gang of smugglers, the eels, have Cordona in their clammy grip. The British Empire can abide it no longer. Mycroft insists they be disbanded, but this organization only falls with the capture of their odious leader, Friedrich Panzer. And note well, I did say capture, not kill. Inside your envelope is a map marked with the eels' warehouses. But alas, we do not know in which Friedrich Panzer resides. Hmm. So even Mycroft has his limits. Indeed. You must be sure to identify the correct warehouse before entering. Because once one is compromised, the other's occupants will scatter. Here are all the files, and feel free to use the archive too. Again, do not enter the wrong location, nor see any harm done to Friedrich Panzer. Miss Sertel, if you're quite done with the redundant instructions, I shall get to work. Well, that's perfect. Tortured hero lashes out after rejected romance. Tomorrow's edition will be a sensation. Nuevo caso, por eso tenía que entrar aquí. Hola. A ver, periodo reciente, gente. Celebridades de Old City. Ahí está. Reyerta en una venta de cuadros. La semana pasada nos ha deleitado con un nuevo escándalo relacionado con los círculos de la alta sociedad artística. Todo comenzó en una venta de cuadros que los artistas locales denominaron como la danza de la decadencia. El director de la editorial de Lion, Darren Terwick, rompió el idilio lanzando una silla a un artista decadente. Bonifaz Mercurio. Aquí tenemos al, al que estamos buscando. Según declaró más tarde el señor Terwick, lo hizo porque el señor Mercurio lo deshonró. Este columnista les recuerda que hace poco vieron al señor Mercurio y a la señora Terwick juntos en la cafetería. Después, un director de orquesta, Kurt Gallagher, 
destrozó un cuadro sobre la cabeza del señor Terwi para proteger a su amigo Mercurio. Se inició entonces una gran pelea en la que intervinieron muchos clientes. Después de la prolongada reyerta, llegó la policía que detuvo a los participantes y los mantuvo bajo vigilancia durante una semana. Menudo acto. Como leal consejero personal de ustedes, les sugiero que adquieran un recuerdo de la venta. Por desgracia ya ha terminado, pero el mismísimo Bonifaz Mercurio invita a nuestros lectores a su casa, donde podrán comprar uno de sus cuadros. Lo encontrarán en Hermes Avenue, entre Scarlet Street y Olive Street en la Old City. Hoy pues ya sabemos dónde vive. Bueno, primero hay que salir. estarán esos almacenes? Aquí el Simberton, ¿no? Sí. Aquí estamos. Almacén 1, 2 y 3. Ya iremos después. A ver, en Old City... Está en Hermes Avenue. Aquí está. Entre Olive Street y Scarlet Street, pero Scarlet Street no la veo. Ah, mira aquí. O sea, está más o menos por ahí. Viaje rápido. Y desde la Atalaya llegamos rápido hasta allí. No se marca, en teoría debería marcarse. Excuse me, young man. Where do you think you're going? Greetings, ma'am. I'm looking for the... I don't care who you're looking for. You shall not pass. No visitors allowed. I wish to buy a painting from Mr. Boniface Mercurio. Is he at home? Deary, tell me because old age has made me blind. Did someone write information bureau on my forehead? Because I'm not here to answer your questions. Entry is for residents only. If you aren't a resident, please leave. Or I shall report you to the police. Vale, tengo que entrar disfrazado. Tendré que disfrazarme de, de él, <ríe> del pintor. No creo. Porque se he peinado la barba todavía. Tampoco.
Vamos a ir. Ahí, a un vendedor de ropa. A ver si tiene alguna ropa que coincide más o menos con el pintor. Una camisa blanca y... no sé. Traje informal de oficina. No, este no. Bohemio. Este sí podría ser. Vagabunda, no, aquí no. El de Bohemio sí me cuadra. Y este peinado sí que se parece. Oh, va a ser este, a ver. Voy a comprar el peinado chungo este. El disfraz de Bohemio. No. Creo que es este, ¿no? A ver. A good choice indeed. Se parece. Sí que se parece. Vale, vamos a probar. Ay, ya se me olvidaba dónde vivía este tío. Eh, vivía. Sí, por aquí, ¿no? Nice affordable clothes. Step right up. Vale, a ver si se lo traga. ¿Por aquí? Ay, yo qué creía que era ahí. Ah, no, es un poquito más arriba. Eh, aquí. A ver, ¿está cegata o no está cegata? Sí. Is that you? Ah, old age does terrible things to one's sight. I didn't recognize you at first. How are you, ma'am? I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost my key. Do you have a spare? For heaven's sake! How many times will you lose that key of yours? Of course I have a spare. You artists all live in your own little world. Please, accept my thanks. I would rather accept your rent. You promised to pay me several weeks ago, and I'm still waiting. I will pay you, I promise, very soon. You'd better do, my dear. Or else I'll just change the lock. And I won't fall for those cow eyes. Vale, ya tengo su llave. ¿Dónde se, se subirá por aquí? Sí. Apartamento 2. Que es... No tiene número. Ah, sí. Es este. ¿Cómo no? Otro muerto. Judging by post mortem rigidity, the body lay here for one or two days. Could be the murder weapon. A normal kitchen knife. The wound is precise. It was inflicted by a razor or a knife. Y todos se quedan con las patas todo, todas dobladas. ¿Por qué? Yo entiendo que alguno de ellos se cayó o el que le atropelló el elefante. Vale, tiene sentido. Pero es que este no tiene sentido, que esté ahí toda, todo doblado como si se hubiera caído desde un edificio. A ver, ¿qué me falta? La sangre. Soaked in blood. It seems as if the puddle of blood was here before the rags.
Cuando llegamos al apartamento de Mercurio había un cadáver en el suelo. Bueno, había un cadáver, no. <ríe> Era Mercurio. Red skin, tails on the back. Reminds me of Verda's description of the stolen painting. Sí, este es el cuadro robado. ¿Y lo robó el propio Mercurio? ¿Puede ser? ¿O contrató a alguien para que lo robara y luego ese alguien lo mató? Porque no tenía dinero, a lo mejor. No pudo pagarle. Aunt May Whiskey, Brandy Bucks. Quite a collection he had here. I wonder where he got that fancy camera. Despite the overall tendency towards mess, you cannot sit with the drawer pulled out like this. Someone left it after searching. It appears the wine was truly awful. Pistas que no sé si podré enlazar. Registraron el apartamento, el intruso es fumador y tiene cojera y huellas de carbón. No creo que tenga nada que ver ninguna de estas. The blood has dried. Pues si lleva... si lleva dos días aquí, obviamente la sangre estará seca. Revelaba sus propias fotografías. The photograph was not pulled out in time. Such a waste of material. Vale, a ver si sé montar el, el escenario. Vale, al parecer él estaba revelando algunas fotos aquí. Alguien entró y empezó a rebuscar. Eso tiene sentido. Y esto también tiene sentido. Porque el cuchillo lo tenía el asesino. Así que lucharon. Y el cuchillo que tiene ahí lo cogió el asesino y lo mató. suicidó, no hombre no este último a ver No sé, este, aquí no sé lo que está haciendo. ¿Y por qué ha puesto este suicidio? No puede ser. Y lo ahorcó. No hemos visto que lo ahorcaran. Lo voy a dejar así, a ver. You're not even no. trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Hay algo que no cuadra. A probar este. 
Mercurio was developing photographs when the thief snuck in. Mercurio heard him coming. While the thief was searching the chest, the painter ran towards him with a bottle in his hand. He smashed it across the thief's head. The intruder had no choice but to defend himself, and the weapon of opportunity happened to be a kitchen knife. Mercurio stepped aside to grab the painting, but the wine-blinded thief attacked Mercurio's throat. When the thief came to his senses, he saw Mercurio bleeding on the floor. He grabbed the rags and tried to bandage him. Ah, vale. It was too late. Intentó salvarlo. Attempt to snatch the painting in the middle of a fight, to strike the intruder. Not with his painting; it was too important to him. Vale, al final es que era lo que no me quedaba claro, la última. No tenía sentido que lo intentara ahorcar, lo estaba intentando salvar con un pañuelo. O sea que fue un accidente realmente. Vale, a ver. ¿Por qué Mercurio quiso llevarse el cuadro en mitad de una pelea? It's time for some chemical magic, John. Otro análisis químico. A ver cómo se me da esta. A ver. Voy a intentar hacer el primero, que sería este. Vale, ahora... Vale, si le mezclo dos... Ya tengo el segundo. Y ahora necesito un uno. ¿Cómo conseguir un uno? A partir del cuatro lo puedo dividir restarle uno vale a todo esto e invierto el signo ya tengo la solución he conseguido eliminar la sangre del cuadro con productos químicos es un bodegón del apartamento de mercurio Y me dice que tengo que utilizar. Eso era utilizar el objeto en algún sitio, ¿no? Encontrarle un uso a ese objeto. Hay que colocarlo aquí. Vale. As expected, but that doesn't mean it won't tell us anything. Let's put it on the easel where it belongs. Tenemos que colocarlo en el caballete. ¿Para qué? Ah, para saber si falta algo. Yes, this is his most ordinary painting. Spot the two differences, John. Sí que falta algo. Falta aquí. Aquí había colgado una especie de carnero, ¿no? Sí. I guess this is his most ordinary painting. Spot the two differences, John. Dos diferencias. Una es el carnero este que, que está aquí. If the didn't take it, the skull should be somewhere here. Y la otra... Nothing behind it. Vale, hay que encontrar el, el cráneo. I guess this is his most ordinary painting. Spot the two differences, John. Y los libros, ah no, los libros están ahí. Ah, mira dónde está.
monster was actually a man. Poor girl. John, you ought to be thrilled. We are now hunting the devil himself. Uh, what were you saying, Sherry? I was too busy sketching the scene, you know, crimes and such like, daily routine. Did you find something? A photograph. It depicts a man in a red suit with tails sprouting from his back and multiple people in masks watching the scene. It all adds up, but the act of love, it wasn't given willingly, John. It was a violation, and the girl, she was with child. Give that to me now. Did you recognize someone? No. Although the victim is not from Cordona, she is African. Look at the ritual scars on her face. Get that image out of your brain. You have to continue the investigation. I must speak to the landlady. Perhaps she saw or heard something. Sherry, you cannot tell her the truth about Mercurio. It will hurt her. John, that's illogical. Sooner or later, she will come here and discover a corpse, and I still need to talk to her. Just avoid mentioning corpse. All right, stick to the character, tell her to call the police. I'll take that into account. And wait here. I've redrawn the people in the photograph. Now you can proceed with your investigation without those horrific details. John ha redibujado la fotografía de la violación que hallé en el apartamento de Mercurio. En el dibujo ha retratado a una mujer en cinta con cicatrices tribales en el rostro. Vale, vamos a hacer caso a John. Y vamos a seguir fingiendo. A ver si. Si es lo. No sé si será lo correcto. Pero Sherlock tiene razón. Ah, por aquí. Eh, tarde o temprano. What? Se va a dar cuenta. You look like you've seen the ghost. Can you tell me if anyone else has recently entered the flat? Oh, you're talking about that limping man. I'm sorry I let him in. I was scared. And I thought maybe... maybe he would motivate you to find money so that you would pay your rent. No offense, dear. Can you describe him? Oh, so you weren't at home. I was so certain you didn't leave your flat that day. He was of average height, had a limp and a tattoo on his neck, and he was smoking Malpal cigarettes. My husband used to smoke those. They have a horrible smell I can recognize from a mile away. Can I ask a favor? Of course, dearie. Please call the police and ask them to enter the flat. And don't look inside until they come up. What? What trouble have you stepped in this time? It really doesn't matter. Thank you, Mum. Vale, el desafío de John completado. Pero bueno, se enterará en cuanto la policía llegue, se enterará. Ahora tengo que preguntar a la gente si reconocen a esta mujer. Y dudo mucho que disfrazado así. But you did everything correctly. Now, take off your outfit. I can't let you walk around in a dead man's clothes. <laughs> Pero se ha dejado la barba. Vale, ¿cuál sería el mejor disfraz para preguntar a la gente? Bueno, puedo probar con el de siempre. A ver si funciona. Can I ask you a question? You and I are the economic foundation of this island. We should help each other. But I don't know what you are talking about. Vale. No me va a decir nada. Do you know anything about this? Huh? Of course I know. Vale, este sí lo sabe. Las cicatrices del rostro de la chica parecen ser de la etnia Ewe. El único lugar de Cordona donde puede encontrarse gente del pueblo Ewe es en el campamento de refugiados bajo el Victoria Bridge entre Escaladio y Silverton.
Ah, no me, no me engancha el... Este no. No. Aquí. Debajo del puente. Pues vamos allá. Does this poster truly claim that Cordona has a ghost? Caso nuevo, caza fantasma. ¿Y por qué se inventa los casos, los casos así por la buena? Ah, porque lo ha visto en un cartel. Decía yo, ¿de dónde sale? ¿De dónde saca los casos? Lo vio aquí en el cartel este. Unholy howls keeping you inside at night. Luigi can help. All ghosts gone. Meet on Southern Pier of the Silverton Port. Donations gratefully accepted. This town loves the supernatural, but all I see is another scam to disprove. The world shrivels under a skeptic's eye. That's why you're so sullen, Sherry. You leave no room for delight in the magical. I delight in making the unknown known. Let us begin by asking someone about the poster and then pay this Luigi a visit to the port. Ya iremos. Vale, este es el puente y ahí es donde tengo que llegar. ¿Por dónde? Por este lado. Beasts. Algo ha pasado. No sé si tendrá que ver con mi caso. Murderers. First they come to our land, then they murder our people. Drop them all into the sea. Vale, alguien ha muerto. Sir, this place is off limits to the public. Please state your business or leave, or I shall request that the police escort you out. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm a private investigator. I'm looking for a witness for a case. A private investigator? Really? Even so, you're not authorized. I can't let you in. And you are? I'm Ronald Harlow, here to handle the refugee situation on behalf of City Hall. I'm the acting supervisor here, so I have full authority here to ask you to leave, or I shall order the police to detain you for trying to pass the blockade. Please, step back. Trabaja en interiores, no le da la luz. Intenta parecer mayor, se ha dejado bigote. <ríe> Quiere dar una impresión de autoridad. Suda está nervioso. Y falta una cosa más. Ahí. Es sedentario. Es un chupatinta, pues yo diría que sí. Si no sale nunca... Y está fuera de su elemento. Voy a decir que es un chupatintas. The people in the crowd are shouting about a murder in the camp. Are you trying to hide it? It's mere assumption. I assure you that the situation is under the police's control. If it was under control, if there was no dead body, you wouldn't be as nervous as you are. You would be sitting in your cozy dark corner of a city hall room doing nothing as usual. Yet, 
You're here, trying to deal with a series of problems you never asked for. These insults are inappropriate. You don't know what I'm doing for this camp. Even though the rest of City Hall doesn't give a bloody squat about the refugees, maybe I didn't want to be assigned to this camp. But I'm trying to do my best for these people. If not for my work, they might not have any shelter or food even. I apologize, Mr. Harlow. Perhaps I was prejudiced towards you, but in any case, I'm sure that you would still want this to be over as quickly as possible. The current reality is that neither you nor the police are managing things well here. You are unable to calm the crowd. You have simply never handled a situation like this before. What are you driving at, Mr. Holmes? Que puedo ayudarlo. Puedo hacer las dos cosas juntas, resolver los dos casos. I can help you to handle the situation if you're truly interested in solving things quickly and quietly. And how exactly would you manage that? Simply tell the police that I'm with City Hall and I'm permitted to investigate the scene. I'll work out the rest. But in return, I need your help finding my witness. She's a young refugee. She's with child or was with child recently. Look, there is indeed a dead body inside the camp. So even if the girl you are looking for is there, all the refugees are now being detained and interrogated by the police. They won't allow you to speak with her. And I can't do anything about that until the situation settles down. So it's in our mutual interest to settle it. Oh, I suppose that things are bad enough that I ought not shy away from help. All right, Mr. Holmes, I'll tell the police to allow you to come inside. Just tell me when you're ready. Mr. Harlow, how did the refugees end up here in such Oh, so you're not from around here yourself? I've been away for some time, but I read the papers. Yes, this whole story has been in the papers for almost a year now. They were smuggled to Cordona on a ship from Africa. Smuggled? Then why didn't you deport them? The smugglers managed to sneak them to shore and hide them inside an abandoned warehouse. When the police raided the warehouse and found the refugees there, the ship was already gone. We aren't even certain as to which ship it was. We have busy shipping routes with other colonies these days, you see. So you decided to lock them up under a bridge? There was no other option. We're still trying to work out what to do with them. I only hope we'll find a humane solution and not put them on a raft and float them out to sea. Mr. Harlow, what exactly do you do here? What are your responsibilities? What I do and what I am responsible for are two different realities, Mr. Holmes. On paper, I am in charge of the camp territory, security, provision, and the refugees in general. What I actually do most of the time is knock on every city hall door trying to obtain some funding, or at least rations for the camp. The police here on city hall's behalf too? They are, minus those who came here after the body was found. The governor won't let the refugees disperse into the island. So there's a significant police presence guarding the camp. Naturally, they answer directly to the police. I have some influence here, but I'm not their direct authority. I'm ready to take a look at the scene. All right. Go inside the camp and find Inspector Tewksbury. He's the officer investigating the scene. Tell him I sent you. Say you're an independent expert from City Hall. He'll fill in the details for you. I'll find my way with words. Thank you, Mr. Harlow. Vale, la foto de la chica queda aparcado hasta que resuelva el asesinato o lo que quiera que sea. So they keep these refugees under a bridge like proverbial trolls. No wonder the people outside are so disturbed. Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? Mr. Ronald Harlow, let me in, sir. I'm Sherlock Holmes, a surveyor of refugee affairs with City Hall. You're Inspector Tewksbury, I presume? A surveyor? What does that even mean? In short, I've been sent to conduct an extensive report on the incident for the Colonial Office, and to assess all the damage inflicted on state property. Got it. Another paper worm sent to count money and get food for archive mold. Go on, look around, but don't make yourself too at home. As if I didn't have enough problems before you appeared. Could you first tell me what happened here? What happened? People from the bridge above the camp heard a woman screaming and saw a man. Ah, va a ser la misma que estoy buscando. Clearly not a refugee. When the camp guards came by, the man was floating in the sewage canal with a knife. Ah, no. Menos mal. Bam. A murder. Big news for Cordona. I'm sure. 
Thank you, Inspector. And none of the refugees were harmed? One fellow was cut. He's lying over there, near their kitchen. He's in a bad way. You mentioned a woman screaming who attracted the bypassers on the bridge. Was she harmed? No, she's all right, but perhaps the whole debacle started because of her. She started wailing and the refugees stood up for the girl. And where is this young woman now? Back there in the shacks, same as the rest of the refugees. She's been questioned by my men, but she's just some refugee girl. Can't understand much English. Did you learn anything about the dead man? The fellow looks like a thug. I've had dozens like him fished out of the sea over the past 20 years. Ever since these refugees arrived, there have been people on Cordona with bad blood in them. My best bet is that this thug had something against them too. And no clue as to his identity? He had some items on his body, but nothing to indicate who he was or where he was from. I think I should catalogue his possessions in my records. Go on. They're on the table near the body. Do you have any suspects yet? You're joking, right? I've got a whole camp full of suspects. And if you ask me, this bloke had it coming. Better bury him and forget about the whole thing. And now there's a crowd gathered at the camp, and my superiors say we must thoroughly interrogate the refugees. At least those who can understand any English. Do you believe that your superiors wish to get rid of the refugees? I think that both our superiors would rather keep the story quiet. Since that's an unaffordable luxury now, they're looking how to protect their public image. That's why I have to waste my time waiting for my people to turn every stone and befriend every refugee. Vale, hay que examinar el cadáver, por supuesto, y... Vale, y sus posesiones también. Here we go again. Number of hours on Cordona before stumbling upon another dead body. Es verdad. A cada paso que da, hay un muerto. Vale, el 2 está aquí. Vamos a ir uno por uno, como siempre. El 8, uff, 8 pistas. El 3, el 4, ¿dónde está el 1? Aquí está el 1. Hmm, coal dust under the nails. I don't see much coal around here. A steel dirk, sharp. A common accessory among sailors and soldiers. I'd say the blade penetrated upward, however the wound is too messy to be certain. An interesting tattoo. Does it mean something? Heavy boots, with one sole far more worn than the other. This man was limping, John. Vale. A violent eh. death. But this man, limping. Coal dust. I think we're sí. onto something here, John. Este es el que mató también al al pintor. No creo que haya dos personas cojas con carbón en en todo el juego. Así que este también fue el asesino. Ahora hay que encontrar al asesino del asesino. Vale, número 2. Sus objetos personales. 1000 pounds. A fair sum, especially considering British currency isn't very common in Cordona. Malpal, soaked with salt water. A simple leather sheath. Perfect for a dirk. Y alguien le pagó para que robara el cuadro. Hay nueve. A ver, tres. Someone bled profusely here. A fresh crack, as if the crate was hit recently. A 
furrow in the ground. A blood trail leading to or from the canal. Vale, el 5, 5, 6 y 7. Porque el 8 lo tenemos aquí y el 9 ahí arriba. Oh, carnelian agate beads, a traditional African adornment. The blood sprayed off the blade after the strike. No hint of blood or impact. It might have been used as an improvised weapon. Someone was dragged against their will. Ocho y nueve. A no ser que haya un diez que no haya encontrado todavía. A ver, el ocho estaba aquí. Police boots. Always have a man's footprint. A heavy boot with a worn out sole. Clearly a left hand print here. A ver, me falta algo más. Cut is deep, potentially serious if not treated immediately. He is in shock, feverish and dehydrated. Sherry, you know first aid. Surely you have a duty to help this man. You can't leave him to certain death. You know what? I'd like to understand. What? How did our dead man end up inside the camp in the first place? Vale, lo primero es ayudar al hombre. Tiene fiebre y está deshidratado. Tengo que centrarme en encontrar algo para limpiar la herida, algo para desinfectarla y algo que usar como vendaje. It won't do any good. That will kill, not save him. Eso lo matará, pues no. Entonces no. Limpia en principio. Better than nothing to bandage the wound. Ay, eso no era. I'll use it to create a solution. Y algo para desinfectarla. I can use this to stop the infection from spreading. I've collected all the ingredients. Now to prepare the first aid solution. Y menos dos, tenemos el menos siete. Si 
si le sumamos 4 y faltaría 5 que sería este 3 sumándole 2 preparado una solución para limpiar la herida y detener la hemorragia. Uh, ya está, Eso mágicamente <risa> ha revivido. Y ahora averiguar cómo entró el intruso en el campamento. Creo que eso lo he visto allí. Había unas, unas cadenas. Creo que eran cadenas, ¿no? Ah, no. Esto. Pero... Ey, a ver. Me han visto. Me alejo un poco, a ver. Sherry, just look at this. Living quarters in a sewer. Averigua para qué es el pasadizo. Opinión pública. Salario bajo. Campamento confinado, dinero, funcionario prepotente, ¿no? Histeria. Para sacar a los refugiados de ahí, puede ser. Sacar a los refugiados, salarios bajos, no. Funcionario, no. Campamento confinado. queda una creo que me queda una a ver si está de cuatro o de tres pues una de las que descarto tiene que ser la correcta estoy descartando una que es correcta no Dinero. Esa era la que me faltaba. Unos agentes de policía están preocupados por si la situación con el cadáver acaba en un confinamiento estricto del campamento y pierden el dinero que ganan con sus ardides. Vale, ahora vamos a dedicarnos. Perhaps we should sniff around in the camp a little more thoroughly. Yo sugiere que indaguemos en ello preguntando por el campamento, pero deberíamos hacerlo antes de marcharnos del campamento. Podrían volver a confinarlo. Pues entonces me voy a dedicar a esto antes de seguir con el con el caso. ¿Y a quién pregunto? ¿A la policía? ¿A este? Este no dice nada. The refugees have been detained and will not leave until all the circumstances are clarified. Is this familiar to you? I uphold the law, so I'm not answering your questions. Vale, si me disfrazo de policía. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, I don't know about that. Ask one of the others. Are you able to help me? Oh, I don't know about that. Ask one of the others. This isn't no. working. No, 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 no. No es lo correcto. Back off. No me deja pasar. ¿Y a quién puedo preguntar para esto? Al... A ver, voy a volver otra vez. Preguntarle a él, a este. ¿Estás todavía aquí? 
Uf, hay un montón de pistas. ¿Qué está ocurriendo en el campamento? The guards at the sewers were speaking about taking refugees out of the camp. Do you know anything about this, Inspector? Less than you do, obviously. And this doesn't bother you as an officer of the law? I can neither punish them nor put them on the right track, if that's what you're asking. Maybe your friends at City Hall could do something about it, but I seriously doubt that. To be honest, I'm sick and tired of being frowned on for my uniform. If those fine gentlemen you've eavesdropped on are in some shady business, that's on their heads. Dice que ha oído que hay negocios cuestionables en el campamento, pero no parecía sorprendido de que sus compañeros estén involucrados en una operación como esa. Pues nada. I'm busy. Don't you have papers to fill? <laughs> City Hall loverheads. Can you satisfy my curiosity? The law can't help you with that. Vale, se ha quitado el icono de preguntar, pero sigo necesitando saber algo. Sealed shut. I doubt our man could get through these grates. La alcantarilla está cerrada y no se puede abrir sin mucho esfuerzo y ruido. Vale, aquí están apareciendo estos. No sé por qué. Las colillas. A single malpal butt. Roadman cigarettes. A brand highly regarded by law enforcement officers. So there wasn't any sophisticated infiltration plan. The good old police just let the man into the camp. Now we have everything we need to get the full picture of what happened at the camp. A ver, con tantas pistas y tantas cosas, no sé si voy a poder recomponer el escenario del crimen. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, uff. ¿Y aquí? Aquí no. Vale, el hombre entró por aquí porque un policía la dejó pasar. Aquí no hay que poner nada. Que ya ni recuerdo lo que vi en cada uno de los sitios. No, vimos que la caja estaba rota, así que este va aquí. Bien, por lo menos ese sabemos que está bien. Aquí no me acuerdo lo que era.
Vale, entonces, si empezamos desde aquí y vemos que está arrastrándola, porque ya vimos que la huella la estaba arrastrando. Sí, exacto. Él no, ella no la acompañaba a él. Ella, él la estaba arrastrando y sacándola del campamento. Así que aquí ella gritó. Este tiene que ir aquí, seguramente. Vale. Y este no lo tengo muy claro. Voy a dejar este que está aquí. Y este último... Está boca abajo el cuerpo, así que supongo que lo empujaron así. No al revés. Así caería de espalda. Vale, voy a dejar este a ver. Sí, a la primera. So, have a thug who came to take a refugee woman with him. She resisted, but he dragged her by force. One of the refugees stood in his way, armed with a stick. Yet he could do nothing against a cutthroat with a blade. The man didn't anticipate that the other refugees would intervene and stand against him. In the confusion, the woman managed to break free. The thug took fright and fled. He was stopped by the falling crates. He stumbled and fell, piercing his chest with his own blade. However, the wound didn't cause instant death. He managed to stand, but still bleeding, he lost his balance on the bridge and fell. Before all of this, the man had freely entered the camp through the main entrance. The police admitted him after they had a short smoke together. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. In our man's case, it's the same sword. Vale, que hablar con quién, con el, supongo que con el policía o con estos dos para decirte lo que ha pasado. Y yo creo que la mujer que estamos buscando es la que intentaron secuestrar. You still here? Inspector, I believe I can aid your investigation. I know who the dead man is and what really happened here. You do? Well, good for you. But I'm afraid I'm not the one you need to share your findings with. Speak to Mr. Harlow here. He's the one responsible for settling things in the camp. You don't even care to listen? Oh, I do care. And maybe even more than I need to. But I'm only here today to lock the place up, question witnesses and file the facts. It's sad, but coming up with conclusions is not among my tasks here. You fellows at City Hall do that. Anyway, speak to the supervisor. I'll just stand by and listen to what you have to say. Mr. Harlow, your refugees didn't murder anyone. What? Pray tell me what you've learned. All right, listen carefully. This might solve one problem for you, but will create a few more. Oh, well, that's a great start. The man came to the camp intending to kidnap one of your refugees, a woman. What he didn't expect was that the refugees would stand up to protect the woman. A brawl had broken out. In the chaos of it, the man stumbled over those crates and fell on his own blade. How do you know he fell on his own blade? The wound in his chest was inflicted from an unusual angle. It was not an offensive stab, shall we say. The refugees didn't touch him. And judging by the blood at the scene, the intruder managed to raise himself but was unable to walk very far he ultimately fell into the canal. But how did he sneak into the camp? Why didn't the police see him? And this is where your new problems emerge, Mr. Harlow. What do you mean? You're not a dull-witted man. You know what I mean. There is no feasible way to get into the camp without the police guards knowing of it. <sighs> the pile of mess I had to sort out has just become bigger. But somehow that doesn't surprise me. Anyway, I thank you for your help, Mr. Holmes. I'll take it from here. Meanwhile, I'll make sure the police aren't detaining the refugees any longer. You can go back in and look for your witness. 
Do you think one small clock can make any difference in this place? Who knows, John? Just one ill-fitting cog could make the whole machine crumble. Y ahora tengo que hablar con quién. You're disturbing a hornet's nest here, son. I owe you a lot, Mr. Holmes. Mira, ahí está la mujer. Yo creo que es a ella la que tengo que que tengo que hablar. Pero no sé cómo solucionar esto. Tengo que hablar con alguien. Can you satisfy my curiosity? They often take us from the camps to work. Most don't mind, though. It's the only way we get a glimpse of freedom. Ah, esto era. Según los refugiados, unos personajes siniestros visitan regularmente el campamento y se llevan a algunos refugiados para trabajar. El trabajo suele ser duro, pero les dan dinero y comida a cambio. A la chica la violaron después de uno de esos trabajos. Desde entonces, los refugiados han decidido no permitir que las mujeres vayan. So there's a ring in the camp. This wasn't the first time that someone freely entered the camp to take a refugee out. At least it was certainly his last time. My gut tells me that we'll learn more about this ring when we find out where the thug came from. Y ahora buscar la mujer. Que va a ver si es esta. Help me, please. Sorry. No. We don't see much here. Do you know anything about this? Sorry. We don't see much here. Oh, I am bored. Vale, no sé si me tengo que disfrazar. You're the one who tended to our man's wounds. I thank you greatly. The police didn't allow us to help him. The police will leave you alone now. I've proven to them that the man who came into the camp died due to his own foolishness. Thank you for standing up for us. But nobody would help us without a reason. You're here because you want something. Yes, I do. I need to speak with the girl drawn here. Mm. The dead man came for her too. He wanted to take the girl away. But we won't allow her to be hot again. What do you want from Nela? Nela. She was hurt some time ago. I'm here to find the people who did this and bring them to justice. And to find them, I need Nela's help. Will you let me speak to her? Justice. There's no justice on this land. But you helped us, so maybe your words are not empty. You can speak to Nela if she wants it. But I will be watching you. Hello, Nela. My name is Sherlock. I know someone hurt you. I am here to help. I'm trying to find the people involved and bring them to justice, please. There is a photograph, and I'm sorry, it is terrible, but I simply must ask. Where did this happen? What can you tell me about these people? Christ, Sherlock. Nayla, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm not very good at this. You come here for me, but you are rude and cruel and condescending. A cross. The man had this cross. Now go away. Leave us be. I do not need another white man's help. Oh, glad that wasn't me. Not my best work, John. My long shot. Nayla doesn't want us meddling. I'm starting to wonder what this all achieves. But she helped you anyway. Now we know that maniac's face and the cross he wore, we can still catch him. No nos ha dicho qué aspecto tiene. Nos ha dicho que tiene una cruz, pero nada más. El hombre no llegó por casualidad. Es una pieza muy importante del caso y su tatuaje podría ayudarme a resolverlo. Y tengo que preguntar a alguien. 
At least some of your kind have a hat. Thank you again. Could you help me? Sorry, we don't see much here. Help me, please. Sorry. We don't see much here. Everyone's looking at us, Sherry. You sure you know what you're doing? You still here? A ver el tatuaje. The intruder has a most peculiar tattoo on his neck. Two lines and a point. Do you know anything about it? You really want to know, kid? Why? You want to play a policeman or something? I'm sure you have it in your records, so it won't hurt if I have it in mine. In my records, it's just a tattoo, as it should be in yours. Ah, to hell with you. Suit yourself as to what you're going to do with it. Off the record, though, such tattoos are often connected to a man named Mr. Niccolo Bernadotti. Bernadotti, you say? A respectable businessman in Scaladio. His company imports goods and wines, and smuggles everything that can be smuggled between the colonies and the mainland. His people can be identified by an obscure tattoo. Just like the one over there our friend has. But these are all merely rumors, you see. If Mr. Bernadotti was a criminal, he'd be in prison now. Or hanged, right? Vale, a ver. El tatuaje está relacionado con un tal Nicolo Verdanotti. Lleva tatuajes como ese. Eh, es un empresario local de Escaladio que se rumorea que dirige una red de contrabando cuya tapadera es la importación de mercancías y vinos entre las colonias y el continente. Pues tenemos que investigar. A ver. Hay que salir de aquí primero. Ahora. Hay que mirar los archivos, pero ¿en qué archivos? En los policiales, supongo. A ver. Distrito Escaladio. Sospechosos Contrabandismo Ahí está Interrogatorio Nicolò Bernadotti Nacido en 1834 Es un empresario y filántropo muy conocido en Cordona Es el fundador y propietario De la Bernadotti Company Ltd Fundada en 1873 Oficinas Zona sudeste de Escaladio Bazar Road, cerca del cruce de Roman Road. Bueno, ya sabemos dónde está su oficina. Tras el soflo de uno de nuestros informantes anónimos, el 13 de febrero de 1876, se le practicó un interrogatorio al señor Bernadotti. El informante proporcionó información que relaciona al señor Bernadotti con el contrabando de licores y obras de arte antiguas entre las colonias británicas, Cordona y el resto del Reino Unido. Gente que supuestamente trabaja para la compañía del señor Bernanotti ha estado previamente relacionada con una serie de actividades ilegales, que incluyen robo, violencia, estafa y extorsión. El señor Bernanotti se lo llamó a declarar como testigo, dado que no hay pruebas tangibles para impu imputarle cargo alguno. Durante el interrogatorio llevado a cabo por el agente Booth, el agente Booth no puede ser, <risa> y yo mismo... El señor Bernadotti afirmó no estar al tanto de ninguna de las operaciones y hechos de los que se le acusa a nuestro informante. No se ha podido obtener información alguna sobre sus actividades antes de mudarse al Reino Unido, documentadas o no. Según afirma el señor Bernadotti, vivió en Sicilia, Italia, donde tenía una tienda hasta 1873, cuando se trasladó a Londres y comenzó un negocio de importaciones. Conclusión, no es posible imputarle al señor Bertonotti nada relacionado con el caso. Pero sabemos dónde están sus oficinas, así que 